And a six-year-old little boy shot and killed, apparently, by his own mother. Welcome back, drivers, to another story time. And this one right here is sad, man. Sad story coming out of Ohio. Uh, this is brought to you by The Scene Cleveland. An unfortunate situation that a mother, this is a mother, y'all, a mother, a mother. Now, you guys going to want to know how could a mother would do this to her son? And we're going to get into it. This mother have unalive her six-year-old son. But before she did all that, she took him to a night of excitement for him, fun times, took him swimming, got him treats and everything. And then, boom, out of the blue, she took out a pistol and, and, and shot this kid 11 times. Let's get into the story. No more wasting time. Let's get it. Hold on. Ranisha Brent, that's this lady's name took her six-year-old son, Kamar, to a Brooklyn hotel in April of 2021. Now, I'll let you guys know that this is two years ago. She just got sentenced this year. So she could give her son the time of his life so that he could swim in the indoor pool, so he can have fun and all that good stuff. The mother treated the boy to a joyous time. She showered him with sweets, made sure that he was happy and then out of nowhere she decided to unalive him that night at the fairfield inn on tiedemann britain used a 22 caliber pistol to shoot the child 11 times she shot him six times in the head six times in the head that's some evil that's so evil that's demonic that's some demon time stuff right there. Assassination, maybe? Took the kid out, pause, man. Like, why? Why? We, we're going to get into all of that shortly. The mother, now 31, she was in her 20s at the time. Her and her parents cried in the courtroom on Monday as the judge described the boy's injuries, who sentenced the mother to spend the rest of her natural life in prison. Nah, nah, nah. Life in prison after unaliving her six-year-old son. That's that's it right there. Just life. We we're gonna get into all of that later. The mother pleaded guilty to aggravated murder. Aggravated murder? Ain't that first degree murder? First degree murder is the most serious of all homicide offenses. It involves any intentional murder that is willful and premeditated with malice of forethought. Premeditation requires that the defendant planned the murder before it was committed or was lying in wait for the victim. She plotted, she planned. Ain't that ain't there's a word for that? Premeditated with Yeah, there there it is. She knew what she was going to do and other charges as a part of a deal that saw prosecutors drop the charge that could have made her eligible for the death penalty if a jury convicted her. No, it, it should have went to a jury because we know damn well that a jury would have would have did just that. That price would have been paid. That is the price to be paid. That price right there would have been paid. She should be with her son after doing something like that. But now she's gonna spend the rest of her life in jail. We're gonna we're gonna get into that later. Listen now, in this change, she agreed to spend 35 years behind bars before she's able to ask the state parole board to let her out. 35 years. Like she's in her 30s right now, so she'll be about 66 when she get out. You guys think that's enough time? She snuffed out her own baby with no pause. And y'all, y'all gave her a deal? That ain't no deal. 35 years ain't no deal, sir. Deal or no deal. You think that's enough time for her to be rehabilitated? Enough time for her to think about what she done? Enough time to, to, to mourn for the baby? What about for the baby? What kind of justice is that for the baby? 
The baby don't have nothing to say. He's done. He's gone. Six years old. Had his whole life ahead of him. And you just took all of that away. Why? Why, though? We'll, we'll get into the why later. The judge accepted that plea deal and imposed the agreed upon sentence. You look. Everybody dropped the ball on this one. Judge, prosecutor. Prosecutor dropped the ball. Like, really? Everybody dropped the ball on this one. Where's the justice at for the kid? Where's the justice at for the baby? Judge, you honestly accepted that plea deal? Aggravated murder? That was first degree. First degree murder is the most serious of all homicide offenses. It involves any intentional murder that is willful and premeditated with malice of forethought. Premeditation requires that the defendant planned the murder before it was committed or was lying in wait for the victim. First degree, I see people getting life for less. Now here she is, state property, being taken care of by our taxes. Eating every day, getting up every day, going to the commissary every day get to watch TV every day, get to go to bed every day for a malicious act. This is evil. There is a special place in hell for you, Denisha. I hope that they reserve a special place in hell for you. And they waiting on you. That price need to be paid. It needs to be paid. That is the price to be paid. And ain't no telling if, if it's going to be paid in prison when it comes to a kid or something like that. I don't know. I, I hope they don't put you in gym pop or put you with one of them people that you had to stay up at night. I don't know, man. I don't know. But that's that's to me, that's not aggravated murder. That's first. That was premeditated. You took that kid to the hotel, gave him the time of his life, and then later on snuffed it from him. That's not aggravated murder. That's first degree. That was planned out. The mother barely spoke above a whisper. Before she was headed off to prison, she was given the opportunity to say this. I just want to apologize for everything that happened. That apology is not accepted, not by me. Shouldn't have been accepted by the prosecutor. And damn sure shouldn't have been accepted by the baby's father. Where is the father, by the way? We'll find out later in the story. Because it does get deep. It does, this, this hole, this rabbit hole gets deeper and you will see how 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 word of red flags came into play and the and the people that was involved that dropped the ball on this the shooting happened on april 24th to i mean 2021 a couple of years ago the mother who'd been investigated by the cuyahoga county department of children and family services called police after the shooting she told the dispatcher that an unknown man entered her hotel room and shot her and her son about 30 minutes earlier. And lucky for me, I was able to find that 911 tape and let you guys know before y'all listen, it is what wrenching to hear. Listener discretion is highly advised and it is very, very triggering. Police and fire dispatch. Yes, I need the police. Okay, where? At the, um, I'm at the Fairfield Hotel. Mm -hmm. The one on Tiedemann in Brooklyn? Yes. Well, okay, what room? Uh, 301. What's going on 301? Uh, uh, somebody shot my son. Someone shot your son? Yes. I Is he in the room? Him. Yes. Okay, is he alive? I don't know if he's alive. My hand is shot. Okay, what, how long ago was this? This is about 30 minutes ago. It happened 30 minutes ago? Yes. Okay. Okay. Where did the shooter go? I'm not sure. They left the room. Okay. This was 30 minutes ago, and they left the room. Where, where did the shooter go? I'm not. I'm not sure, ma'am. I tried to stop him. I got shot in my hand. Okay. Who shot him? I don't know. I was asleep, and then I just woke up, and he was shot. I tried to take okay. the gun, okay. and he shot me in my hand. Okay. Okay. Uh, can you check on your son? I want to know if he's alive or not. Okay. I'm downstairs at the front desk. Okay, where, how old is your son? He's only six. Okay, where is is he in the room still? Yes. Okay. Okay. He's six years old, and where did he get shot? 
Um, he shot in his head and in his stomach. He was shot in his head and stomach, and he's in Thrill Run? Yes. Okay. Is anybody in Thrill Run with him right now? No. Okay, okay. Do you don't know who did this? No, I was asleep. Okay, what is your name? My name is Danisha. Okay, I, I just I want to I want to make sure I want to make sure we can get some help to your son. Okay, it, it, when the last time you t you saw him was he breathing? He was breathing a little bit. He was breathing a little bit. Okay, are yeah. you the only one in the room with him in 301? Was there anybody I'm else in I'm there? Not, no, I'm downstairs. I understand, but like, is anybody is there anybody else in the room with your six year old right now? No. Okay, okay, honey, what's your last name? Brent. B R I N Z H T. Okay, and a phone number for you there, Denisha. Is it two one six two five nine seven six five zero? Yes. Okay. Okay. I I I want to I want to get help to your son if if the shooter is gone and we don't know where the shooter went. Okay. She's down at the front desk. We're gonna. Okay. Do we know? You don't know anything. They they broke into your room. I'm not sure. I was with okay. a friend last night, but he was with his friends. We had went swimming, and then I thought they had left. Okay. Okay, I, are you able to go back up to the room to check on your son? Yeah. I, I want to get I want to get him some CPR if. Okay. Are, are you able? Are you on the front desk phone? You don't have a cell phone. No, I have a phone. My phone is dead. All right. I I, I just I want to get your son CPR if he's if he's shot. I want to get him some help. Okay. All right. Are you are you able to to go up to the room? Yes, I have to hang up. You have to hang up to go up to the room. Okay. Yes. Do you know how to do CPR, ma'am? No. CPR? You know yes. CPR? Can you can you maybe have someone with the front, at the front desk? Are there people at the front desk can go up there with you? Okay. I, I, I want to get some CPR to your son. Okay. Huh. <laughs> 2111 to 2141. Why don't you guys stage right on the entranceway into Key Bank? Do not go all the way up to 2141, Todd. Is anybody there now? Hello? I think she went upstairs to go check on her son in 301. Hey, Latoya. Here, get a radio. A radio, Latoya, here. She's going to go upstairs to check um, on her son with somebody at the front desk. Hello, ma'am? Yes. Who is this? Okay. I just sent her out there with a walkie-talkie, so you're gonna have to stand by. She's on her way to the room with the um with the. Okay. Do you guys know anything? Did Did you hear anything? What's What's going I on? Hear, I didn't hear anything at the front desk, but I do know uh, Brooklyn is pulling in now. Yeah, yeah. We have the police and fire are gonna go up to three to one. There, who's reg Who registered to three to one? Is that the the female Denisha Brown? Yes. 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 That's okay. You, that's and that's okay. And you guys didn't hear any shots fired or anything like that. I didn't hear anything at the front desk, but the girl that we leave said she heard a big boom, but she thought it was a train next door. So okay. What's your, What's your name? My name is DeAndre. DeAndre. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Was this about thirty minutes? Have you heard the the the, the noise? Elevator. Oh, you can go that way and go to the the stairs. Yes, sir. Sir. You said what? You said um, what? Thought, sir. Talk I understand. You. I'm sorry. You said you heard the you heard the boom about thirty minutes ago. Did your you said your heard coworker heard a boom? The coworker said she heard uh -huh. it five minutes ago. Three zero one. Sorry, three zero one. He went that way up the stairs. Three zero one. Right. When was the big? When was that noise that she heard? How long ago? She she said she just came in like five minutes ago. So it was like five minutes ago when she came in. She heard a big boom. Okay. All right. All right. All right. We we we're there. We're we're talking to you now. We're, um, we have the police and the fire department on scene. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Right. The, all right. Thank you. As police investigated, they did a little bit more digging to see that they couldn't even find that person that was supposed to mysteriously have went into the room and 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 shot her and her six year old son. She admitted to making up the story and she was arrested prosecutors defense attorneys the mother's mother acknowledged that denisha had a history of mental illness including a diagnosis of schizophrenia everybody even the family dropped the ball on this one somebody dropped the ball grandma listen grandma you knew grandma come on you You've seen that your daughter needed help. You've seen that your daughter was sick and you you saw the red flags and you didn't do nothing about it. Family services saw the red flags and they didn't do nothing about it. 
again where's the father we'll find out a little bit later where he's at in all of this but grandma yo yo six-year-old grandson the moms was going through some things you should have stepped in and be like yo i'll i'll take i'll take my baby grandson I'll, I'll take care of him until you get yourself together, daughter. Where were you? Where were you, Grandma? Report ordered mental health evaluations, found her illness did not rise to the level of being incompetent to stand trial or qualify her to seek a plea of not guilty by reason of insanity. Just think about it. Maybe, maybe, maybe she could have pulled that off. Like, I wasn't in my right mind. I wasn't thinking. I don't know what I was doing. I heard voices in my head. I heard the voices tell me to do what I did. I heard voices to take my son to the Fairfield Inn and give him a good time. I heard voices to turn around and, and snuff his life out after that. I wasn't in my right mind, Judge. I'm going to plead not guilty by reason of insanity. I need to be in a mental institution that's where i need to be judge no no you you don't need to be in a mental institution no because you knew exactly what you was doing you knew exactly what you did you turned around and tried to push the blame on somebody else and we know who that somebody else could have been right usually in situations you you would think that the authorities would look at the father father is still not in the picture yet hold on we we getting there we getting to the father very very shortly and we still gonna see where he was at in all of this now maybe again because we again we don't know where the father is at not not yet we'll find out but maybe because of the father is why she did what she did too because there's some ladies out there that resents the father and take it out on the kid there has been cases of that many a cases and again this ain't the first time of a mother unalive in her kids but this case right here is just a little bit more sadder to me it hits hard because this kid was an innocent six-year-old that didn't deserve all of that with people that seen the red flags that could have helped them and could have avoided all of this right here all of this could have been avoided multiple people was involved mother the county of social services we still trying to find where the father at is all in all this but we'll find out shortly the judge said i certainly understand and appreciate mental illness but the fact of the matter is that a six-year-old boy didn't have to die that day and he did for that she will have to pay the price well, let's talk about that price because the full price would have been a shot in the arm and a, and a long eternal sleep after that and then she would have solidified her special place in hell while her son is sitting on the lap of jesus in heaven she's down in hell thinking every day the torture that she put to her son that day that's where she needs to be she needs to be downstairs. She needs to be in that hot area. She needs to be in hell right now. But the price that you guys gave her was a discounted price of still being here on earth, living out her years behind bars. That's, that's a discounted price, right? That's not the full price. Full price will be downstairs in hell. That's the full price. No, y'all gave her a discount. Y'all gave her a deal. Y'all gave her the opportunity to turn around and be like, oh, you don't know what I was thinking about. I, I need this deal. And then after 30 years, I might have an opportunity to still come out and live out my trial light years. But who's going to be in your corner when you come out? Though? Once you come out in your 60s, it's going to be in your 60s, going to be a couple of presidents come come into the White House and all like that. We'll probably might get another black president while you still locked up for for 30 plus years. But yet you still get to come out and, and live the rest of your twilight years, though. I mean, people live to be about 80, 90. You, you got about another 30 plus years left. Anything liable to happen for you in those 30 years. But is that enough time to be re rehabilitated for what you have done to your son? Your son wouldn't even be here. Six years old, 
around 30 plus years, your son would be 36 right now. You took 30 years from that baby and give that baby a chance to even live his life. He only knew what he knew before you snuffed it out. 11 times, six shots to the head. And that baby, that baby, important. And everybody that was involved, shame on y'all too. Shame on y'all. The judge also placed a copy of Kilmore's autopsy report and his photographs in the mother's case file to ensure that the evidence follows her to the institution. Hell, that, that could follow her down to hell too. You don't need to put it in there. You, 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 you could put it in a you 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 could put it in that makeshift box. Because I'm sure she's not gonna be put in a nice casket or anything like that. Y'all gonna just drop her ass in a box. Welcome! To hell. And in that box, you could have put that, you could have put the information in the box, slap it in the, slap it in the oven, because that's what y'all gonna do with, with un, unclaimed bodies. Y'all gonna slap it in the oven. It's gonna cook to the, it's gonna cook until nothing left. Y'all gonna put it in another box and give it to, give it to whoever's left in her family while she's downstairs in hell with that information that is following her for what she did to her kid but nah 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 y'all y'all gave her a deal y'all gave her a price break that's what y'all did so yeah every day she's gonna get up she's gonna see the autopsy of what she did she gonna see the she gonna see the kid face baby pictures maybe may, maybe maybe go into the library and start studying maybe give her 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 life to whoever that she's going to give her life to maybe she's going to turn it around because she has all that evidence and all that pictures to remind her of what she did and and how she probably can be reformed maybe she'll get her cdl while she's in there too i a hey. the mother's mother the grandmother jennifer andrews sobbed as she said that her family is devastated to lose not just a beloved grandson, but Andrew's only daughter. I'm sorry, I, I don't know. I, I don't think I'm sobbing on that one. I'm, I'm, I'm sobbing for the fact that my grandson, his life was taken for no reason, none at all. Just, just, just a devastating blow by your, by your daughter that you knew had mental problems. You 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 gonna turn around and say, well, I'm I'm gonna lose my only daughter. You you should have thought about that when you saw the fact that your daughter was sick. Where's the father? We still looking in the story. Hold on. I will always be there to support you as long as God keeps me alive and you alive, Andrew said to her daughter. You need to forgive yourself. Yeah, you 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 can forgive yourself in that special place in hell. I hope that they reserve a special place in hell for you. It's waiting for you right there. All the forgiveness that you need is right there in hell. All for you. And your mother, grandma, said you will support. Really, grandma? Grandma, can you really support your daughter after after something like that? I, I'm not sure how I'm going to take this. How How can you? How can you support your 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 daughter after after she snuffed him out? He didn't do nothing wrong. He didn't attack her. He didn't put his hands on her. He's a six-year-old child, a baby. And the only thing that he was doing that day was just having fun. But yet you want to say you want to support your daughter after after she done that? He said her daughter was suicidal. And the family told members that she had thoughts of harming herself and Kilmar. But the family struggled during the coronavirus pandemic to get her some help that was needed. Now look, I understand the pandemic did what it did, but I'm sure there was still some people out there that, that, that should have did what they needed to do to get her some help and get that kid out of harm's way. Everybody seen that she was suicidal everybody heard her talk about harming herself and the kid but yet y'all still kept the kid in her care defense attorney rufus 
says that the mother's entire family is in pain. Really? Are y'all? Are y'all? Really? Really? And we still haven't gotten to the father yet. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Here he come. Here he come. The child's father, Donald Brighton, filed a lawsuit against the county's child and family service agency, accusing it of failing to adequately investigate the family's complaint about Kamar's safety in the mother's care. Okay, so the father was involved. And the father knew about the situation. Dad, where were you? Why you didn't step in to take your son, bro? Dad, you knew that your son was in danger. He was in harm's way. Why you didn't step up to the plate to, to snatch your son up out of there? Like, for real, for real. I mean, if, I, if that was my son and I see that he was in harm's way i wouldn't let my son be in harm's way sir regardless if it's the mother or not i if the mother is over here talking about killing herself and and her kid yeah it's time to step in dad i appreciate what you did as far as doing a lawsuit against family services but dad man come on that's your boy that's your son that's your blood should have stepped in dad a spokeswoman says the agency opened up a case on april 21st in 2020 about whether the boy's basic needs were met but it did not receive allegations of physical abuse now mind you that was april 1st 20 days later is when she unalived her kid maybe the mother was upset because the father pressured the family service to do something could that be it maybe i don't know again like i said mothers do take their issues out on their kids when they have problems with their fathers fathers this is when you need to step in and, and get your kids out of harm's way the lawsuit was dismissed in august because a judge found Donald's attorney filed the lawsuit a day late. See what I'm saying? You see how deep this rabbit hole is? And everybody just dropping balls everywhere? Judge, prosecutors, family services, the father, the grandmother, the family. Y'all all saw the signs. The signs was there. It was all in your face. And nobody, nobody had the fortitude to get that kid out of harm's way. Not the grandmother, not the father, not family services. And then 20 days later, now y'all all, now all of y'all over here looking like, well, man, maybe we could turn the clock back and maybe we could have did something about it. Y'all could have done something about it. Y'all could have done something about it. 22 days, 20, 20 days later. She made that fatal decision to take her son out and everybody that was involved did nothing to get that kid out of harm's way. And now this kid will not be here to enjoy life. But yet you guys, the courts, the prosecutor, the judge, y'all gave her a deal. Y'all gave her a price break to do 35 years. Now mind you guys, that's 35 years because she got technically life, but 35 in 35 years, she's able to go to the parole board and say some shit like, oh, I'm healed. I, I'm, I atone for my, for my sins. I, 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 I know what I did was wrong. I feel that I have been rehabilitated. I am good to go back out amongst the public and try to live my life. But your son ain't here. You be in your 60s, your son would have been in his 30s and ain't no, well, we already know that your, your moms probably might not be here. We know, we should know that the father shouldn't even have nothing to do with you. We don't know about the rest of the family though, because the family was there and they told, they saw, they, they seen the flags. This is a sad story to talk about. It, it's hard for me because I am a father. I love my child to death. He's a grown man, by the way, but I still love him as a child. I, I don't think that I would never, ever do something like that. My child was six years old. I was having fun with my child. We, we, we did everything together. The thought 
of unaliving my own child never came across my mind. Even when I was depressed, it still never came across my mind because why when I was depressed, he was there to make me happy. He was there to make me proud to be a father. He was there when I needed him and he's still there today. Even in my darkest moments, that never came across my mind. My own, my, my own flesh and blood, my own child. Now I know some children could be issues, but we're talking about a six-year-old here. Six. We're not talking about a teenager. We're not talking about a grown kid. We're not talking about a kid that's putting his hands on his mother or anything. We're talking about a six-year-old six and at the time didn't even know that he was about to be snuffed after a long happy day he goes upstairs gets in the bed and go to sleep and then next thing the, the, the last thing that he ever hear in his entire life is that's it didn't even see it coming six times in the head 11 total and this evil person of a woman tried to blame somebody else for that crime and the and the court system did not do that kid no justice because they not only gave her a deal they gave her a price break so she can avoid the death penalty where hell is waiting for this lady now hell gotta continue to wait 30 years later